Hey everyone, it's Cherry here, and today we will talk about dividend investing with Robinhood. So lately, I've been binge watching the Robinhood Challenge by Bruce Wang. I've been binge watching his videos, so a lot of my stock picks, a lot of the stocks that I bought this week is based on his recommendations. And of course, as with all investments, I recommend you to do your own research. So let's take a look at my stock. So this is my Robinhood profile. Currently it's at $10,500. I just invested a little more money. I invested $400 this week because the market was at a low at the beginning of this week, I think yesterday on Monday. So that is why I invested 400 instead of 200 per week, which is what Bruce Wang does. And uh, let's take a look at the week. So the week I'm down uh, $147. And this is because the market is rather volatile right now. And because of the trade war, some of my China stocks, Chinese stocks are not performing as well, such as like Alibaba. But because I believe in the company, I believe in the long-term growth of the company. I don't think I'm gonna sell, so I'm just going to hold until the storm is over. And uh, by month, I am also losing quite a bit. I'm losing uh, $4.15, and that is by month. And three months, I'm actually up uh, $477, almost $500. And the year, I am down $64, 0.61%, uh, which is really not bad at all. And so here comes a big thing. This is my all time. All time, I'm actually down 13.45%. And this is because I invested heavily in Ethereum and cryptocurrency without really understanding the theory behind it, the logic behind it, and uh, without really understanding my investments. So this is a pretty hard lesson learned. I did lose a bunch of money because of crypto, because of Ethereum. I lost, I think, $2,600 over just all of my crypto investments. And so I'm trying to regain my position in the market. I'm trying to offset some of my losses with my gains. So this is my goal right now. And this is also why I am focusing more on dividend stocks, stocks that are relatively safe, that have a stable payout, than on really volatile investments such as cryptocurrency. And another one is Tilray. So let me just show you my Tilray because it is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Tilray, today Tilray is at $27 and this is a marijuana stock that I just bought into the hype without really understanding it. And so my average cost is $141. Its current price is $26, which is real bad if you ask me. And then my total return is uh, negative $229, almost $230. So this is my uh, total return or total loss, which is pretty bad. So after we take a look at my portfolio and my biggest loser, let's take a look at what stocks I got just this week. So this week, let's look at my history. So this week I bought quite a lot of stocks especially because I believe some of the stocks are on a high discount. And how I place my order, it is always with limit orders. If you're interested in how to use Robinhood, definitely check out my Robinhood tutorial, which teaches you from how to look at stocks, to how to buy stocks, to how to place limit orders. And I also go into detail what exactly is in my portfolio. But for the sake of this video, let's just look at which stocks I bought. So on the 26th, the first stock that I bought is SHE, which is, let me just read you the official definition. It tracks a market cap weighted index of US large cap companies with a relatively high proportion of women in executive and director positions. So uh, I bought this at 70 and it's currently at $72. So it is a win for me. And my second purchase is AGNC. And AGNC I believe is one of the recommendations is one of the recommendations of Bruce Wang. So AGNC, my current position is at 10 shares right now. My average cost is $15.36, which is slightly higher than the current price that they're trading for. And I have also placed another limit buy right here. And then you can see the 
uh, dividend yield is actually pretty high for the stock. And even though EPS is not necessarily higher every quarter, it's actually going down, the dividend yield is actually pretty high. So this is why I kept investing in AGNC. And you can see that AGNC is a real estate investment trust and it invests in agency residential mortgage-backed securities on a leveraged basis. So this is AGNC. And next, I also invested in APLE. So let's take a look at APLE. This is another dividend paying REIT that Bruce Wang talked about on his channel. So my average cost for this one is $15.56. And you can see that the current price is actually higher than my average cost. I am currently holding two shares right now and here is the official description. This REIT is a self-advised real estate investment trust company, which invests in income producing real estate, primarily in the lodging sector. So it has like hotels and high-end suburban developing markets throughout the United States. And here is the dividend payout. The dividend yield right now is $8.42, but keep in mind, this is not very accurate. If you really want to check it, you should do your own research and not rely on Robinhood because oftentimes these numbers are pretty outdated. So that is one con that I've had, uh, one disadvantage with Robinhood. So here's a way to calculate your own dividend yield. Dividend Dividend is dividend as a percentage of current share price. So basically, you just calculate the dividend divided by current share price. For example, if your dividend payout is $1, then it is $1 divided by the $15 of your share price, and that gives you 6.67%. And this is your true dividend yield. So for any stock that you can see, you can go back to uh, the last dividend payout and calculate the true dividend yield since Robinhood's data may not be the most updated. Let's take a look at STAG, which is another stock that I bought. And I believe this is also one of the recommendations by Bruce Wang. And uh, the current price is $28.68. And my average cost is $28.50. I have four shares in this and also a pretty high yield, a high dividend yield ratio. And I also placed one more purchase order for this one. And what STAG is, it's a real estate investment trust, which focuses on acquisition, ownership, and operation of single tenant industrial properties throughout the states. So another real estate high dividend paying stock. So let's see. I also bought, I believe this is Intel, INTC. Let's take a look at INTC. INTC. Yes, this is Intel. I believe Intel is at a discount right now. This is a company that I've known for almost all my life and uh, it is currently at $45.79. My average cost is $50.85, which is higher than the current market price. I have 11 shares in this, and uh, it's not a super high dividend yield, but I invested in this because I feel like it is currently at a discount. And you can see that the actual EPS is consistently higher than expected EPS. You can see the actual EPS is the solid green, and the expected EPS is the faded green. So this is always a good sign. When I see that the actual EPS is performing better than the estimated EPS, I have more faith in the company and how well it's doing financially. And then uh, I also have a pending dividend, which is $2.84, which is a handsome pay in dividends. So Intel, in case you don't know, it engages in the design, manufacture, and sale of computer products and technologies. So it's all about like computer networking, hardware, uh, I believe it's, yeah, it's hardware. Mostly hardware. Semiconductors, a long freaking essay that you can read about on your Robinhood account. And a little plug right here is that if you want to invest in stocks, if you want to start investing, or you want free stock, just use my link in my info box. I have provided it and you can just simply click on the link. It is a five minute registration process and you can get your free stock. 
So let's continue looking. So again, it is AGNC. I bought a couple more. I just kept dollar averaging my weight down. So whenever I see that the market price is lower than my average cost, I buy in more. And this is under the assumption that I believe in this company or this is a high dividend paying stock. So that's why I keep on investing and averaging my cost even lower as I buy the stock at a higher discount or uh, at a lower price. And then after AGNC, there is also O. O, I believe, is also a real estate stock. Let's take a look at O. Oh, not this one. <laughs> Realty income. Yes, this is another real estate stock, and its official description is uh, this is a real estate company which engages in generating dependable monthly cash dividends from a consistent and predictable level of cash flow from operations. So what is good about this is that it is monthly generating, so you can have a dependable monthly income. And you can see that this is excellent. It is consistently beating its expected EPS earnings per share every single quarter. And uh, it is a lot higher. You can see the solid green is much higher than the faded green. And then for this one, my average cost is $72. The current market price is already higher than that. I've been trying to buy more into this or, oh, I haven't really tried buying more. But um, I would try to buy more if I feel like it's on a discount. But right now, I feel like it's uh, not that much of a discount, so that's why I'm holding myself back from buying it. And also, it is a, relatively speaking, more expensive stock compared to my other stock purchases this week. So after, oh, there's AGNC again, and STAG, and no, no is a really interesting one, is uh, about insiders. So if you want to do insider trading without breaking the law, no is one, one way that you can do it. So what this does is um, this insider stock that tracks an index of 100 companies chosen from the S&P uh, 1500 based on trading by corporate insiders. So um, whatever movement that the corporate insiders or the board members are doing, you can follow that trend. And you can see that I have four shares in this. My equity in this is $148. My average cost is $37.20. The current market price is actually lower than my average cost. So if I want to allocate more money to invest this week, I will probably buy into it. And you can see my limit buys. Uh, all of my buys are limit buys, and there is also a dividend payout of 26 cents in July. So that is KNOW, and there is also PFE. PFE is also a good one. So PFE is Pfizer, which is, I think it is a medical company, pharmaceutical company that uh, Bruce Wang talked about. So Pfizer engages in the discovery, development, and manufacture of healthcare products that specializes in medicine, vaccine, and consumer healthcare. So you can see that I've been averaging my weight down and uh, my current position in this is that I have seven shares. My average cost is $34.62. And then my total return is $3. Today's return is $5, which is pretty pretty good for the price of this and this also has a pretty high dividend yield so that was PFE and then we talked about O we talked about STAG APLE AGNC oh there's also SPHD SPHD so this is the S&P 500 high dividend low volatility uh, index fund it comprises of the 50 least volatile names chosen from uh, a short list of the S&P 500's 75 highest dividend yielding securities. So index funds, I really like because it can help you diversify. You're not just putting all your, bag, all your, bags, all your eggs into one basket. You're actually diversifying and index funds help you do that because the fund itself comprises of a lot of different stocks that are chosen for you uh, according to it depends on what your index fund is. If it is an index fund that is high dividend yield, then it chooses from a pool of high dividend yield stocks. And uh, you can see that I will get a dividend pay of 30 cents, which is pretty, pretty good. And this is uh, assuming that I have two shares of them. So uh, 31 cents, that is pretty good at the end of this month. 
And then you can see the dividend yield is right here. Again, it is not highly accurate on Robinhood. I recommend you to do your own due diligence and do your own calculations because the number on Robinhood is not always accurate. And then I have five shares in this. My average cost is $39.72. The current market price is $40.02. So this is again a win. And uh, I just bought earlier this week and it's only Wednesday today. So I believe that is it. That is uh, all the stocks that I've purchased this week. So the reason why I want to switch from uh, my previous investing habits, which is investing in a lot of very volatile companies and uh, individual stocks to right now investing more in index funds and dividend stocks is because I want a stable stream of income. And even though before I did have dividends coming in, they weren't significant at all, and I want it to be more dependable. I want dividends to be a more stable stream of income within my 13 streams of income. So I think I will probably be doing one of these challenges maybe every single month or every single week, depending on uh, how much my investment varies. But my investment strategy stays the same, and it is that I want to buy and hold. I want to invest for the long term, and I want to invest in stocks that I believe in and I know about. I don't want to make any rookie mistake anymore of investing in stocks just because of the hype. And at the top of the page, I will show you some of my dividend payouts. So uh, here is just a snapshot of all my dividend payouts coming up in the next couple weeks which I am pretty excited about. This, of course, is not any significant sums of money, but this is money, and having money is better than having no money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what are your thoughts. My current goal right now is to invest $200 into the stock market, into Robinhood, every single week. And I've already scheduled automatic deposits every single Monday to Robinhood, $200. And of course, according to uh, market volatility and how the market's reacting, sometimes I might deposit even more just so I can a dollar average my way down even more. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That will mean the world to me. And I also have free stocks ready for you in my info box. Just simply click the link. It will take you five minutes and you can claim your free stock. See you guys in my next personal finance video.